Yo, yo, welcome back. Got some buttload of packages in today. I assume most of them will be cards here. Um, I did order some through TCG Player on some more stuff that was time sensitive, so we'll see how that goes. Showcase Triomes. I uh, love these cards. They're staying lower than your Aquaria ones, but I'm not sure that that is going to continue. There's no reason why they shouldn't be close to the same price as those Aquaria ones. Looks like some more Strixhaven bulk. Kieran Beast Caller. I saw those things having trouble focusing. Um, I saw like a gruel list that played this. Pick that up. And a Shadow Grange Arc Fiend. Uh, legacy list. Uh, I think it was a Jund. Madness Jund. Uh, I played that. Excited to test it. Um, I think the deck ran two or three. So I'll pick those up for a few bucks. I'm not sure if that card sees Commander play. I don't play Commander. I don't follow like nearly any Commander cards, so it's always tricky when they come up. Kiki. Kiki's got a little wear to it. Um, camera's having lots of trouble focusing. A little bit of wear, some kind of indent on the left side of the card there. We'll evaluate that one a little bit later. A couple more cards. This Possibility Storm I think has a Pioneer um, deck, but I'm not sure the specifics, so they're cheap. I think I paid a few cents for those. Nickel Bolas. Um... Let's get the cover for that one. This is why you always put a pull tab by your tape, folks. How am I supposed to pick this out? Good looking card. Moving on. What is this? This one doesn't even feel like it has a card in it. So this might actually be mail. I think there was a couple of cards that um, yeah, this one's also not a card. Some actual mail. This one's for sure a magic card. Look at it. They're sticking out. Amazing, amazing pack job. We'll see. Oh no, you hate to see that. Look at that. Why? Why you do this? Why you do this? He's got pull tabs. Sticky tape all over my cards though. Overloaded the top loader. And they still managed to mess up the top of the cards there. Especially when you send a card like this. The card's like $30. And you're just gonna send it willy nilly like that. This one looks like it's in decent shape though. Um, hey, hey, look, it's another ooze. The ooze with the baboon. More bulk. Harmony Prodigy. I don't know if I'm ready for the shaman deck, but I'll pick up the pieces until I build it. What was this in? This was in uh, the same deck that Bosage is going in. It's a uh, Calibrated Blast. Uh, super cheese deck in modern. Uh, slowly building that up. Well, that's awkward. I might have to edit that one out. Rhino token, nice foil. 
So a little bit of clouding. Can you see that? Camera doesn't really pick it up too well. Little bit of clouding up top, which is weird because it's a newer foil. Uh, bulk for the collection. Got your Fallen Empires and your Ice Age old school cards. Got some more old school right here. Mercadian Mask. It's got some play. I don't. I don't harp on these common and commons with all this play. Uh, it's just not worth it, right? The card's worth like a nickel. My time is worth more than that. <coughs> um, while some of them come out fine, the light play ones, I just, I just don't have the time to dispute them. I just throw them in. If, they, if they're in really rough shape, maybe. Like this one's got some like weird stuff going on in the back. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Comment on comments from sets. I'm just trying to complete. How do you? How do you dispute those? I don't know. I don't. I, I genuinely don't think they're worth your time. But you know, if, if maybe somebody sends you ten heavy play, moderate play, commons and uncommons, does, just completely misses the mark. Maybe then I dispute it. But for the most part, if it's just like one or two cards in a shipment, whatever. Um, and obviously if it's a consistent thing where the same person just sending you bulk that uh, is not meeting your standard, just just block them. It's, it's better in the long run. Save yourself the trouble. You know, these look better than I thought they would. This might be my first, or one of my first stained glass. So this is non-foil, but the art still pops pretty nice. And the border looks really, really cool. I like that, I like Squee. Uh, these as well, really cool looking art, borderless. I'm usually a fan of OG original printings, but that's some really cool art. Um, so I'm working towards a play set of those. I think that might, that might be my third or fourth. Shipping shields. Love to see them. Great alternative to top loaders if you can't get top loaders at a decent price. <clears throat> Serum powder. Another card that goes with the uh, calibrated blast deck. Knight of Autumn. Here's my fourth Omnath. Um... We did just get a Yorian ban, so we'll see where that deck goes. I don't actually know if it's going to survive. I think a lot of people think that they're just going to be able to make the deck more consistent by cutting it down to 60, and then maybe you play less of your come into play uh, and do stuff ability cards. We'll see. Uh, this one looks at least light play. Uh, we'll, s we'll see what we do with this one. That might might need a dispute. We'll see. The car's expensive, so near mint versus light play actually matters. You know, much different than what I was just talking about with uh, the commons and uncommons. Um, you know, when you get a slight play adjustment on a rare that's worth 30 bucks it's a few dollars instead of one or two cents so if you're not satisfied with the condition of cards that are you know mythic or rare and they have a lot of value it's probably more more likely to dispute that I like this art bone crusher giant um, saw a huge spike not too long ago, you know, when Rakdos got really popular in Rakdos, it's um, come down quite a bit now. So if you're looking at picking up some, I think I think they're printed in a Challenger deck too, which helped lower the price. Um, but I really like the uh, alternate art frame on uh, a lot of the Eldraine cards. 
Last package. What do we got here? Looks like some bulk. I don't know if I don't know if I ordered this. That looks like buffer. This looks like buffer too. We got insect token. This is for the grist. Less excited about the squirrel side, but it is what it is. Um, cool. Forgot why I got that. Tarmogoyth 2.0. Um, I think this card's better than it looks. To be seen. More beast collars. More filler cards. I don't know. Why'd you fill it? Put so many filler cards in there. Actually, you know what? We could talk about this packaging style. So we have a penny sleeve. Then we have random commons and uncommons. Protecting, you know, your any kinds of dings into the rares that are uh, below, right? So your hard impacts on the cards that matter are getting hit by bullshit cards that don't matter. And maybe instead of spending a few dollars on your shipping shields or top loaders, you're using just regular cards like this to pad the shipment, right? So it was packed with two rares, two bullshit cards on e either side and inside of a penny sleeve. I don't know, I think, I think this is a decent way, a relatively cheap way to ship a card, right? Because you got plenty of buffer on both sides, that's what matters. And maybe the only exposure is like top bottom you know, it's in, it's in a penny sleeve. Uh, I don't know. I think I think that's a decent way to ship cards if you're tight on cash. Anyway, that's the card sphere mail day, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.